welcome to homeopathic pharmacy academia in this video lecture i am going to discuss about the liquid pericles glycerin simple syrup and oils that is both fixed oils and fertile oils glycerin the chemical name is 123 propyne triol that is a trihydric alcohol the chemical formula is c3h5oh3 the molecular weight is 92.1 specific gravity 1.26 boiling point is 290 degree celsius commonest constituent of all animal and vegetable oils and fact examples olive oil coconut oil cod liver oil etc so glycerin contains in all these type of oils glycerol is considered as an intermediate in carbohydrate and lipid metabolism now sources of glycerin where from glycerin obtained commercially glycerin is prepared from spent soap you know spent soap is a by product in soap industry and when the soap is salted out the glycerin remains in the solution known as spent lye and spent lye contains about 3 to 5 percentage of glycerin and small amount of free alkali sodium chloride dissolved soaps proteinaceous matter inorganic salt and coloring matter so what we have to do is we we need to separate out glycerin from spent soap another source or method of preparation of glycerin is from sugar fermentation so when sugars are fermented with yeast about 3% of glycerin is formed along with alcohol another source that is the synthetic source of glycerin is propylene from propylene large scale glycerin manufacture is carried out in foreign countries like usa so it is prepared from propylene which is a petroleum product and it is chlorinated to form allyl chloride which is then converted to allyl alcohol then it is treated with hydrochloric acid when the hydrochlorohydrin derivative product is produced extraction of hcl of hydrochloric acid with soda lime followed by hydrolysis yields glycerin so this is how glycerin is prepared synthetically from propylene a petroleum product so our concern is about the cheapest source of glycerin that is the spent soap now let us see how glycerin is prepared with the spent soap or spent lye i told you it is a by product in soap industry the soap is a solid form once a soap is 
salted out, extracted out the liquid which is remaining. That is a byproduct. It contains three to five percentage of glycerin. Now, how to separate out this glycerin from the spent layer? So for this, we need to settle the spent layer in a iron tank where the heavy impurities in spent lye will be settled at the bottom. So we know that spent lye contains not only glycerin, but also proteinaceous matters, inorganic salt, alkali, dissolved soaps, etc. So the heavy impurities will be settled in the settling tank. Once the heavy impurities are settled at the bottom. The topmost dissolved spent lye is removed. And this clear liquid, which is removed, is transferred to a treating tank, another tank called treating tank, which is fitted with steam coils. So it is treated, the spent lye, the clear solution of spent lye is treated with hydrochloric acid to neutralize about three fourths of the free alkali which is present in the spent lye. Then it is treated with alum or basic ferric sulfate which neutralizes the remaining alkali and also converts the traces of sodium soap as well as the free acid still present in the insoluble iron soap, ferric soap. A gelatinous precipitate of ferric hydroxide and insoluble iron soap is formed. So that can be separate it out. Now next, the liquid along with the precipitate is filtered through a filter press under pressure. The clear liquid so obtained is concentrated in the vacuum pans and about 80 percentage, about 80 percentage of glycerol is formed. During evaporation, the common salt separate out and are removed from, from the bottom. So the process is the spent lye is allowed to settle down in the settling tank. And once the heavy impurities are settled down, it should be transferred to the treating tank where it is treated with hydrochloric acid and some of the reagents where it can precipitate out the proteins and other iron salt. And once the precipitate is removed, the clear solution is allowed to dry in a vacuum chamber. And the concentrated, that is 80 percentage of glycerin is obtained. Now this crude glycerin is uh, decolorized it may have some colors. So it should be decolorized with animal charcoal because the charcoal will absorb the color and purified by distilling, distillation with superheated steam under reduced pressure. Then the distillate containing water is then concentrated in vacuum pans again until glycerin has specific gravity of 1.26, that is 99.9% pure, pure. So the clear solution, once uh, the precipitate is removed, it may contain water also. It may contain color also. So the color can be removed by uh, passing it through the animal charcoal and the water is removed by distillation. And the resultant glycerin which we obtain is 
99.9 percentage pure that is having a specific gravity of 1.26 so this is how the glycerin is prepared from spent soft lead which is a cheapest and main source of glycerin now coming to the purity test of glycerin there are mainly three test employed for the purity of glycerin the first one is acrolein test how to perform the acrolein test two drops of glycerin is taken in a test tube and a little powdered potassium hydrogen sulfate is added to it then it is heated carefully then more strongly a vapor with a very irritating smell of acrolein is produced the gas thus produced is acrolein and this acrolein gas has, has a property it blackens the filter paper moistened with a solution of ammoniacal silver nitrate so when a uh, solution of ammoniacal silver nitrate is moistened with uh, uh, in a uh, filter paper and uh, exposed to the acrolein gas it will blacken the filter paper so thus we can identify a pure glycerin now next one is denston test it is also known as borax phenolphthalein test so here in denston test about 6 ml of 0.5 percentage of borax is added drop by drop to 1 percentage of alcoholic solution of phenolphthalein there is a appearance of red color once you add phenolphthalein 1 percentage of uh, phenolphthalein to 0.5 percentage of solution of borax to that add 20 percentage of glycerol or glycerin drop by drop there is a disappearance of red color so once you add phenolphthalein to borax solution there will be a red color and further adding of glycerin 20% of glycerin is when it is added there is a disappearance of this red color still when you heat that solution there is a reappearance of red color so why it is happens so what is the principle behind this formation of red color as well as disappearance of red color and reappearance of red color sodium borate the borax solution the chemical is present is sodium borate and once it is partially hydrolyzed to boric acid and sodium hydroxide in this solution the solution is alkaline as boric acid is a weak acid and uh, sodium hydroxide is a powerful alkali so the solution is uh, more towards alkali so when glycerol boric acid is formed on addition of glycerol it is being a strong acid so when alkali is present the phenolphthalein will show red color now when you add glycerin it forms glycero boric acid which is a stronger acid so there is a disappearance of red color and on further heating what happens the glycero boric acid hydrolyzes into glycerol and boric acid which shows the re reappearance of red color so the red color is due to 
the alkali again the alkali so that is called as denston test now the third test is borax b test so borax b test is a flame test when heated on a borax bead in a bunsen burner which is moistened with a glycerin the flame gives a green flame the the nature of flame is green so that indicates the presence of glycerin now the uses of glycerin so it is used for the preparation of mullein oil mullein oil is nothing but it is a glycerin extract of uh, verbascum verbascum it is a plant extract which is extracted with glycerin now it is also used for the preparation of glycerol which is an external application glycerol is nothing but a mother tincture mixed with glycerin for the use of external application especially mouth ulcers or any lesions in the mouth aphthous ulcers mouth ulcers the third use is it's used in the preparation of mother tinges and lower dilutions of certain poisonous product like epis mellifica naja carandula etc that is the medicine prepared from animal sources now the next use is it is it can be used for the preservation of poisonous animal products especially the venoms snake venoms ophidia group like uh, lacasis crotalus elaps etc now we'll come to next liquid vehicle that is simple syrup simple syrup is nothing but it is a concentrated solution of sucrose in purified water it is a highly viscous liquid used for the base of dispensing odorous or bitter mother tinctures it is prepared by adding 667 grams of sucrose to 1000 ml of purified water and is heated to boiling with a constant stirring until it is completely dissolved and become viscous and when simple syrup is used especially when you dispense a mother tincture of bitter nature where the patients cannot uh, take mother tincture alone due to the bitterness or uh, children who cannot take a bitter mother tincture we can dispense it in simple syrup so that is a use of simple syrup in dispensing of homeopathic medicine now let us see the oils that is a fixed oils and volatile oils the common oils which is used in homeopathic pharmacy are olive oil almond oil sandalwood oil sea sesame oil then uh, hypnocarpus oil shul mogra oil sandal wood oil lavender oil and rosemary oil now let us see the first one and very important oil which is used in homeopathic pharmacy that is olive oil the olive oil is uh, prepared from the ripe fruits of uh, the plant olive olea europea so it is prepared from the ripe fruit and uh, the specific gravity is 0.9102 to 0.913 and uh, olive oil is prepared from the oil extracted with a crushed ripe fruits and uh, it is extracted with a solvent carbon disulfide and this olive oil contains the constituents like olein palmitin lanolin and arachin so these are the constituents of 
or composition of olive oil olein palmitin linolein and arachin now what are the properties of olive oil so there are some unique property in olive oil which enable to make an ideal uh, liquid vehicle for especially for the uh, external applications color it is pale yellow it is odorless and the taste is bland it is miscible with chloroform and solvent ether but it is immiscible with alcohol it will not mix it with alcohol and the use of olive oil in homeopathic pharmacy it is used for preparation of liniment liniment is an external application where the olive oil is mixed with a mother tincture and applied over the the part affected this olive oil alone can be used externally for burns ulcers and some skin diseases because olive oil is is a very good external application for having soothing effect it is also internally it is also used as a laxative now next one is almond oil almond oil is prepared from the kernels of seed of prunus amygdalus almond prunus amygdalus it is obtained from the seeds seeds of prunus and this oil is obtained by steam distillation of macerated seed steam distillation that is a method of preparation and it is it contains benzaldehyde olein linoleum now the properties of almond oil it is like uh, olive oil it is pale yellow odor is slight odor is present color uh, uh, taste is bland it is miscible with chloroform and solvent either but it is not mixed with or it is immiscible with alcohol and like olive oil almond oil is also uh, used for preparation of liniment where olive oil is not available it is also used as a soothing application for excoriations and skin diseases because of the high protein content in almond oil it can be also used in certain type of uh, uh, skin diseases especially the exfoliative skin diseases where there is scale formation now next one is the sandalwood oil sandalwood oil is a a volatile oil whereas the olive oil and almond oil are fixed oils so this volatile oil is obtained from uh, or it is distilled from the dry hard wood of sandalwood album sandalwood album is a source and the part used is uh, dried hard hard wood from the wood of sandalwood album the oil is the oil is distilled out so it contains the composition it contains sandalwood sandala so these are the two constituents which is present in sandalwood oil the color of sandalwood oil is pale yellow odor is aromatic very pleasant odor taste is pungent taste it is freely soluble in alcohol ether and chloroform so it is soluble in alcohol and it is used in perfumes and cosmetics because of its aromatic odor a pleasant odor now next one is sea same oil or gingelly oil so this sea same oil or gingelly oil is prepared from uh, the seeds of sea same indicum seeds of sesame indicum and here the oil is extracted from seed 
under ordinary temperature. Now, specific gravity is 0 0.1, 0 0.916 to 0 0.921. And the composition of CCM oil is it contains olein, CCMin, CCMol, stearin, palmitin. So these are the constituents olein, CCMin, CCMol, stearin, palmitin. Now, the properties of CCM oil, the color is pale yellow, odor is faint, bland taste, it is thicker than other oils, thick in consistency, it is slightly miscible with water, but it is miscible with solvent, ether and chloroform. Now let us see the uses of CCM oil or gingerly oil. It is used in the preparation of hair oils. It's one of the composition of hair oils. It is also used as a substitute of olive oil. Since olive oil is very costly, uh, sometimes sesame oil also used. Now next one is hypnocarpus oil. It is obtained by the cold expression of fresh Type seed of Hypnocarpus vegetania. And the oil is obtained by cold expression of ripe seed. It contains glycerides of cholmogric acid. Cholmogric acid. That is one of the uh, constituent of Hypnocarpus oil. Cholmogric acid. Glycerides of palmitic acids. That is also one of the content in hypnocarpus oil. Color, it is yellowish or brownish yellow. It is much darker than other oils. Order, it is, it has got a characteristic order. Taste is acrid, soluble in hot alcohol and insoluble in cold alcohol. Miscible with solvent, ether, and chloroform. And it has got a specific use in medicine. That is, it can be used as external application in leprosy in olden days. So it can elevate the symptoms of leprosy when it is used as an external application. The next oil is Cholmogra oil. And this oil is also obtained by the cold expression from the ripe seed of Hypnocarpus cursi. Whereas Hypnocarpus oil is prepared from seeds of Hypnocarpus vegetania. Now, it also, uh, the composition of this Tulmogra oil is Glycerides of cholmogric acid and glycerides of palmitic acid. Now the color is yellowish or brownish yellow, like that of hypnocarpus oil. Order is rancid. Taste is acrid. It is sparingly soluble in alcohol. That is, it is very less soluble in alcohol, but soluble in benzene, chloroform, and solvent either. As in the case of hypnocarpus oil, Chulmogra oil is also used as an external application in leprosy. Now, the next one is lavender oil. Lavender oil is a volatile oil which is prepared from the fresh flowering top. Fresh flowering top of Lavendula officinalis. That is a plant name. So the oil is obtained by uh, the distillation of fresh flowering tops of Lavendula officinalis. It contains linalan, pinane, limonene. So these are the constituents of lavender oil. Linalol, pinane, and limonene. 
the color of lavender oil is pale yellow to yellowish green it has got a fragrant odor and a pungent taste it is used externally in ulcers it has got a, a brilliant property of healing ulcers it is used as a soothing agent in headache so when it is applied over the head during headache it will alleviate the pain next important oil is rosemary oil this oil is also a volatile oil and it is prepared from flowering tops fresh flowering top and the oil is obtained by steam distillation of fresh flower flowering top and the constituent of rosemary oil is 18 senior alpha pinin bond call bonyl acetate 18 senior alpha pinin bond call bonyl acetate so these are the constituents of rosemary oil the color of the oil is pale yellow odor is characteristic it has it has got a camphorous taste taste like that of camphor soluble in alcohol it is used in the preparation of liniment like that of uh, olive oil and uh, almond oil used as an ingredient of hair oil and other cosmetics because of its uh, fragrance so this is about the different types of volatile oils and fixed oils which is used as a liquid vehicles in homeopathic pharmacy so with this i am concluding the session on liquid vehicles thank you all